Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about 812, that is Operation Security of ISO Standards 27001. Operation Security is divided into seven categories. Out of that, first three are going to be covered in this video. So the first category is Operation Procedures and Responsibilities. Second category is protection from malware and the third category is backup. The objective of operational procedures and responsibilities is to ensure correct and secure operations of information processing facilities. Whereas objective of protection from malware is to ensure that information and information processing facilities are protected against malware. And the objective of backup is to protect against loss of data. Now the first control for operational procedures and responsibilities is documented operating procedures. It states that operating procedures shall be documented and made available to all users who need them. Looking it further, the installation and configuration of all the systems must be documented. The systems have interdependency in between them and the systems are scheduled to run on a specific time. All these things must be documented. There are always an exceptions which are not planned and errors which are not handled. All such things need to be documented properly. How to handle media is a big concern in any organization and the policies and procedures differ from organization to organization and they all need to be documented properly. Escalation context and hierarchy of roles must be documented properly in the organization. Second control is change management. It states that changes to the organization, business processes, information processing facilities and system that affect information security shall be controlled. It means that all changes must be identified and recorded properly. Whatever change implementation is going to be there, it must be planned and tested before implementation. The impact analysis if changes go wrong must be analyzed. Proper approval chain mm -hmm. must be processed before implementing the change. Once change is verified, one needs to plan the fallback procedures which are required for change management. If the change go wrong, we need to have a backup plan which needs to be executed. Also, emergency provision such as some urgent changes which should skip the approval process and be implemented as soon as possible must be provided. Third control is capacity management. It states that the use of resources shall be monitored, tuned and projections made of future capacity requirements to ensure the required system performance. Unused data must be deleted. Unused programs must be decommissioned. The resources which are going to be utilized in the project must be optimized and access to critical programs must be restricted. Only authorized users must be able to use them. And the last control under operational procedures and responsibilities is separation of development, testing and operational environments. It states that development, testing and operational environments shall be separated to reduce the risk of unauthorized access or changes to operational environment. Some basic guidelines for separation such that development region and operational region must be stored separately. Before we are moving a code from development to operations, it must be and thoroughly tested. Accessibility for compliance editors and other development tools must be done before implementing them. Sensitive data must be protected. Also, 
only important people and people with right authority can use the sensitive data. Now let's look at protection from malware. One and only control under protection from malware is control against malware. It states that detection, prevention and recovery controls to protect against malware shall be implemented, combined and appropriate user awareness must be spread. It states that to prohibit the usage of unauthorized software, prevent or detect suspected malicious website, reduce the vulnerability in the system, installation and regular updates must be given to users so that right awareness is spread. Also, the environments must be isolated when they are detected with virus. Now let's look at controls under backup that is information backup. It states that backup copies of information, software and system images shall be taken and tested regularly in accordance with an agreed backup policy. In this policy following things can be agreed upon such that how many backup copies must be produced, what is the restoration process, what is the extent and frequency of the backups that are needed, what should be the location of the backup, how much physical and environmental protection is needed for the backup, at what intervals and how many regular tests are required on backup media, is there a need to encrypt the backup data. Now these are the references which we have looked at while making this PPD. Also for more details kindly visit our website that is http colon slash slash www.i4-consultancy.com Thank you.